When two things vary jointly, all that means is uh, you have multiple things that are varying directly. So rather than just y equals a times x, which, are, which is our direct variation equation, we have multiple things. So in this case, we have y varying jointly with x and z, just means y equals a times x times z, and you can keep going for as many variables as you want to. Uh, jointly just means each one's being multiplied. So let's take a look at uh, one of these two-step problems. We uh, looked at one of these with uh, inverse variation a few videos ago. It's going to be the same idea in this case. Step one will be write the equation, and step two will be to use it to find some information out. So let's start by writing our equation. Now our keywords in this uh, are the words varies jointly, so that tells me what kind of model I'm using. Y equals A times, and then just start multiplying out, multiplying out all your variables. Now my piece of advice, unlike the X and Y problems, which are fairly simple and we always start with y equals. With these, just go in the order the variables are presented. So z comes first, so we'll start with z equals, and there's always going to be an a, a constant variation. Don't forget that. Uh, there's never going to be an a listed, so people often forget that there's an a in these problems. So a and then times x times y, and you can keep going if you have more vari variables than that. Okay, like we did with our inverse variation equation, let's plug in the information that we know to find out what A, our constant of variation is. So they tell us that when Z is 75, X is equal to 3, so I'll plug in 3 for X, and Y is equal to negative 5. So here's the equation I want to solve in order to find out what A is equal to. So let's make that look a little bit prettier, so I get negative 75 equals negative 15 times A. If I divide both sides by negative 15, I come up with a constant of variation of 5. Now remember, even though that is going to be part of our answer, that's not our answer itself. We're looking for an equation. There should be one and only one number in your equation when you're done, and that's the constant we just found. So go back and replace, uh, or go back and rewrite your equation, just replacing a with what we found out, find, found it out to be. So z is equal to 5 times x times y. So there's going to be our uh, equation for this uh, varies jointly problem. So in step two, let's go ahead and use that equation. So just like we've done before, they're going to give you some uh, variables uh, to plug into your equation. This time they asked us to find z. That could be anything. They could say find x. They could say find y. So just be careful that you're uh, plugging in uh, numbers where they need to go. So in this case, z is what we want to find. We know the constant of variation. They're asking us to find this when x is equal to 10 and when y is equal to negative 1. So multiplying all those together gets me a z value of negative 50 for step 2.